So here I am in uh, what will be my new bedroom, and I'm gonna take out the carpets. Here I am starting this project off using absolutely the wrong tool, because if I'm honest, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I just saw some carpet, and I knew I didn't want it there. I'm actually using a drywall saw, which isn't the best tool for this job. I just thought, hey, that looks sharp. I don't know if this is the most effective way to do it, but it's uh, what I got. Fortunately, I did bring a box cutter along, and it made things a whole lot easier. Though it took me a minute to figure out how best to use it, I eventually got there. It cuts just much easier this way. Oh, this is way easier. After a brief celebration, I cut the carpet up into four smaller pieces so it could be easily rolled up and taken out to the trash. And here's why the carpet had to go. Not only was it super old, but look at these awesome hardwood floors. Well, I've done one room so far, and I really like it. Here's the new floor, I'll go this way. Try not to spin around too much. One room down, just a hallway, and one more room to go. A couple things that would have made this project a whole lot easier were one, knee pads. After doing all this work, wow, my knees were really torn up. The second thing I should have brought was a respirator mask. Cutting through that carpet created a whole lot of dust. It also would have been great if I watched a few YouTube videos on how to do this before I got started. So if you're about to start removing some carpet and you're watching this video now, you're on the right track. This is harder than I thought. The reason you're seeing me struggle so much is because the carpet was actually nailed down between the hallway, the bathroom, and the closets. But I didn't give up, and eventually I got rid of all of the carpet. To celebrate, hit that thumbs up button, and get ready for day two, when we deal with the tack strip. I'm here with my dad. We're uh, removing all the tack strip from the floors. My dad's a real trooper. He insists that we don't turn on the air conditioning while we do this. Or drink water. I have sweat dripping down my face. It's uh, not hard work, but it's hot work. I watched some YouTube videos on it, and some people said when you're hitting that uh, screwdriver, go into the wood instead of under the wood, and that's good advice, because I did chip the floor a little <gasps> bit. <laughs> With all of the tack strip out, it was time to get rid of the staples. The staples were used to secure the padding that was under the carpet, and whoever installed this carpet they must have been really trigger happy because there were like a million staples. They probably thought we'd never be looking at this flooring again.
It's almost nine o'clock. I stopped working about 30 minutes ago. The family downstairs has kids, so I'm gonna stop making all the noise on the floor and call it a night, but I'm coming back tomorrow and I am going to finish pulling all of the staples out of the floor. They may not know it, but I'm bringing a couple people with me and uh, they will also be pulling staples out of the floor with me. Jeremy, it's you. I'll just say it right now. Oh. These are only some of the staples that we have to manually pull out of the floor. Fortunately, Jeremy volunteered his entire weekend. Week, I said my whole week, not just the weekend. His whole week. This is what it looks like when you get your family to come do all your work for you, pulling the staples out of the ground. Jeremy, I think you missed one. We finished taking the staples out of the ground and it's looking nice and smooth we're gonna have to go and fill in a bunch of these holes with some putty but we did some good work a lot of staples came out of the floor <sighs> okay well we finished the floors today I started Wednesday night, uh, I came and I took out all of the carpets. Thursday night, I came and my dad was here helping me take out all the tack strip. We got most of it out. Uh, on Friday night, I came and I finished taking out the rest of the tack strip and I started removing all those staples. And then today's Saturday and uh, spent a lot of time with my dad and my brother-in-law taking all the staples out. You know, it's been a lot of fun actually. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I hope you got something out of it and uh, we'll see you later. Okay.